everyone. Today we're going to talk about why you want to grow your business bigger. Um, I guess this cop, this conversation piece has come up so many times that I really wanted to address it again with you guys uh, out there and just give you my personal perspective as to how I feel about growing your business versus being a solo operator. Now, especially the lawn care guys, uh, landscapers, electricians, whoever you are, um, there are things that I, arguments that I hear on both sides, and I'd like to address that with you today. So, number one, solo guys are your operators that are just a solo one-man operation, that it's just you and you're out there and working that job, and whatever money you make, uh, you know, that's your money, and, you know, things are good because you don't have all the headaches that come with having employees and, you know, them not showing up on time, not showing up at all, dealing with all their taxes, this, that, and the other. There's a lot of things that, that go into that, okay? And I understand. I understand there is an argument for being a solo guy. And I think that argument is that, yeah, it's a lot easier today to go out and do that, okay? You don't have all the headaches of, of dealing with everyone else, but at the same time, there's a lot of things that are bad about that, I think. Um, for example... Um, you know, and, and again, some of it's true with, with being solo that, yeah, it, it is a lot easier and you don't have a lot of the headaches. Um, but at the same time, you know, you, there's a lot of other problems that come into play. Okay. And I'm going to address those, each one of those right now. So um, the first thing is sickness. And this is to me a priority. I think everyone needs to think about this and just stop and think about it. If you're the solo guy, and everything's going great for you, and it's all on you. Um, you 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 don't have anyone else to rely on, and you get sick. Well, then what happens? Okay, maybe you can put it off. Um, I don't know how you're going to put off lawn mowing if you have a bunch of jobs and your week is full to begin with, and you develop the flu, or or even worse, you get some sort of a cancer or something like that, some sort of a debilitating disease. Um, you're pretty much done. So. The, the caps are enormous on this thing. So and what, I, what do I mean by the caps? The caps are the amount of money that you can make to begin with. When you're a single solo guy, you can only make so much money. When you scale your company and you get more guys involved in your company, you can grow bigger and bigger and bigger. You can't do that when it's just you because if it's just you, you can only do so many jobs a week and you're done. You can't do anymore. You physically can't do anymore. You're, you're working 14 hour days now. That's what I mean by that. Okay. So <clears throat> that means also that, you know, your money is down. Your money is locked in at that amount. That is all you can make. Now, if you have multiple guys working in your company, sky's the limit because as you keep picking up more and more accounts, you just keep adding more and more employees. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to get back to the sickness thing because it's so important. So if you're a solo guy, and you go down uh, with something, God forbid you get some sort of an illness, um, and you do go down with a serious illness, then who takes over? What happens to your income? It's gone. It's gone. If you're physically not able to do the work, uh, say, for example, you do get cancer and you do get, you go through chemotherapy and you're sick all the time and you're weak and you can't do your job anymore, where's your income going to come from? It has to come from somewhere, right? You've got to feed yourself, unless at that point you're just like, look, I'm good. I'm just going to go on welfare and or whatever you call it these days. Um, I don't want that for you, but I want you to think about that because it's very important. Okay, um, let's talk about something that's out of your control. Let's talk a little bit about what if you were in a car wreck tomorrow? What would happen? You're in perfect health. You have a car wreck, and now you're in a wheelchair the rest of your life. If you had taken the steps to put other guys in charge of things in your company and grow your company so that you have other guys to depend on, they could keep that going for you. If you're that guy that's solo and you get in that wreck, you can't do that anymore. You're done. That means your money's done. How do you pay for, for that wreck? How do you pay for that new vehicle that you have to buy? How do you pay for all the medical bills that are coming? You have to have some way to pay for it. If you don't have a business that is constantly making you money, how are you going to pay for those things? I want you guys to think about that for a minute. Just let that sink in, okay? Um, what about your, your family members? 
that's another thing that I think about all the time about, you know, my kids and my, my mom and dad and things like that, and my wife's mom and dad. And you think about them now and you think, hey, what would happen, you know, instead of being focused, if I was a solo guy and I'm making the money barely enough probably for us to get by, um, how am I going to, how would I help anyone else, right? You can't help anyone else because you don't have any money to help anyone else. And I, that's a thought that's gone through my mind for years and years, that I want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that's able to help when needed. If my parents need to have people brought into the house to help them, uh, help them get around as they get older uh, in, their, in their age and whatnot, you know, or if they got really sick and we had to hire 24-hour care, who's going to pay for that? You know, I can't rely on my government for that, and you shouldn't rely on your government for that either. You should be planning for these things because they're going to happen. I see it with my parents. I see them getting older all the time. I see it with my wife's parents. Same thing. You know, they, all of a sudden they're, they're in a wheelchair and you need help. You've got to get help in there and you've got to find ways to do that. If they're not getting help from the government, and uh, how are you going to pay for it then? That means you have to watch them. Okay, and if you have to watch them, how are you going to do that and work your job at the same time, Mr. Solo Guy? Right? Not going to happen. So think about that besides just thinking about yourself. Now think about your wife and your kids. And again, this is just my perspective. It doesn't mean that I'm right on it at all. I mean, there's two ways of looking at it. I just want you guys to see the other side of this. Okay? Um, so just pointing these things out, you do with it what you want. So end of the day, your family members, I want, I want to be able to help my kid uh, get ahead in life. I want to be able to help with their schooling and and uh, in case they would get in a wreck or something like that. I mean, I would want to have to be financially able to help those people, that my loved ones around me, okay? And if I stay a solo guy, odds are I'm not going to be able to help anybody because I'm barely making it myself. When you're a solo guy, you're only making so much money. You're not getting rich. You need to scale your businesses. And again, this is just my personal point of view on this. All right, so let's just try to stay focused on this. And then let's look at this. Let's look at a retirement point of view. All right, if you plan on just working until it's time to get Social Security, let's pray that you don't get sick. Let's pray you don't get in an accident. Uh, let's pray you don't have family members you have to take care of. Let's pray... You don't have to take care of your mom and dad and her mom and dad and things like that. There's a whole lot of things there that you're hoping all go your way. And at the end of the day, I mean, where are you at at the end of every year? Are you able to put ten or $20,000 in a bank account somewhere and leave it sit for your retirement? Is that what the plan is? Are you doing that now? 99% of you aren't. Okay? So if you're not doing it now, how are you going to retire? Do you know how limited Social Security is? It is terrible. So I know a lot of people that are getting six and eight hundred dollars a month, and they're supposed to live off of that. They're never going to live off of that. Plus, the cost of living is going up all the time. So whatever you think you're going to get, number one, it isn't going to be enough, and number two, the cost of living is going to be higher yet. So you're going to have to have something. What are you going to do? How are you going to eat? How are you going to retire? If you don't think about it today and think about scaling your business today and getting it to the point where you, you do have multiple factors coming in, multiple uh, leads coming into your funnel of, of financial leads coming in, you're going to be in big trouble. Okay? When you're a solo operator, I don't think the majority of people think of those things. And that's the reason for this video today is to try to get you to think out of the box. Think down the line. Think about all these things that I've mentioned, and I'm sure there's many more that I haven't mentioned. And I mean, even things as, like medications, look how those are going through the roof. So all of a sudden you do develop something or a bad heart or something like that, and you got to take medications and they're expensive. You know, all of a sudden you're, you're being the solo operator, there's no money left at the end of the day. You got to think about those things, okay? My advice to you is to deal with the extra stress that comes from having those employees today while you can. Because believe you me, when your money runs out, there's stress. You think you have stress now? Wait till your money runs out. Huge amount of stress, like divorce type stress. You know, 
And, and th this happens. It happens all the time. So stay focused. You don't have to obviously do what I'm asking you to do, but I'm just trying to get you to think out of the box. Try and help yourself. I have nothing to gain from this. The only thing I can hope for is that you guys listen to this, think about the things I'm telling you, and then see the reasons why you do need to scale your business. That's just my personal view. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. I'm always interested in your comments. Let me know how you feel. Thanks for watching.